Hello everybody, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiser Reich of Sweden. Let us continue on for we last left off. So, we are now invading uh, Normandy with our six militia divisions here. Uh, hopefully, uh, something good comes of this. They might all just die. That's also entirely within the realm of uh, possibility. But we do have control over, you know, all of these major areas. So, I'm hoping that we more or less are okay. You know, it kind of sucks that they land at the port. They can't just land at this big, uh... I mean, they built defensive structures here to stop a naval invasion. And then they just didn't actually show up. What? No. What? What is this? Uh, what even are you to this army? What is this front line? Full position. Wait for this guy to show up. But now, you know, this naval invasion, uh, doesn't apply anymore. Send the entire army across. Delete this. Again, let's double check to make sure. Yes, 78.7%. Control. So hopefully we should be okay there. You know what? This tank that's kind of shitty. You just go and join this army as well. How long for you to actually... What? No, what are you doing? Is this not a port province? Oh, it's not. But I still don't understand why you're all doing this instead of just sailing straight to the port. How long do you actually get there? It's going to take you three days for the reinforcement to arrive. You're also on this front, just so you know. Okay, let's advance a little bit. The Commune of France now has the capital. Good work, France. This is actually the only territory they control right now. They have 14 divisions, which is terrible. Apparently they have 200,000 manpower, though, so good for them. I don't even know where those... I guess these are the entirety of the Commune's army. I don't know where else they would possibly be. It looks like Egypt's actually pushing their bike quite well into French Africa. Uh, which is really nice. We might not even need to uh, send in reinforcement divisions. Oh, by the way, nobody goes to this front. All of you are here with an invasion plan for Vancouver. So if you could just do that. Yeah, 35 attack is terrible. Fine, try to get a surround on them. Just annoyed that I still just I don't understand how Spain even got there, but yeah, all of you guys are now here doing what you're doing best. I don't think that's going to give you air superiority, but hopefully at least uh, counteract some of the worst parts. We do have some reinforcements coming in. We can see that the Nash... How many troops does France have? 24 to 35 divisions is not a ton. The question is... Oh! Hello, Commune of France troops. It's nice for you to have shown up in Paris. Excellent. Um, I don't know how you got here, but I will not say no to your uh, spontaneous return. My guess is that they got uh, event spawn troops or something. But, you know, if they want to show up here, I'm not going to say no. Okay, our reinforcement armies have arrived. Do we send even more troops to France? Like an entire second army? I don't think it's a bad idea. But I also don't want to leave England or Sweden... Two undefended? Like France, I would just recommend not attacking out at all. Yeah, it looks like the German army basically did just redeploy out here. Or strategically redeploy, so they're gonna have like no organization whatsoever. So that's good. Uh, I don't know how well these pockets of French troops are just, are going to do in Paris. Decisions available. Yes, get more Ukrainian troops. Give me all of your manpower. Our reinforcements are slowly trickling out. The organization is still pretty bad. But I would like you to stop at least for right now. Let our reinforcements slowly start to trickle out. Your job, at least for right now, 
is to push your way to that. I like how it always goes with one division. That's literally all of your jobs. Okay, so we killed that one troop. Uh, you are going to go and slowly redeploy on helping him. So the Norway, of course, more troops are starting to show up. Did that actually do my plan and get the Germans to leave this province? Absolutely not. It actually did nothing at all for that. Okay, let's at least try to secure some territory. Let's take it over these port provinces. It's going to be fantastic for us. German panzers have decided to show up. You know, this is actually, uh, compared to where this campaign was really looking like it was headed, it's gone pretty well so far. You know, let's keep pushing them out. Okay, apparently that's not going to work this time. But you defend that province at least for right now. The Commune Resistance Force is not doing super well, but, you know, they could be doing significantly worse. I'm hoping that this might also get Germans to leave Scotland, or leave the, uh, leave the Britain in its entirety. I'm still annoyed that the Spanish are here in, in any capacity. Like, how many troops do you have, Spain? 55 to 7, 50 to 75. Not giving military access to anybody. Egypt, oh, you're doing fantastic. You're doing absolutely amazingly. Don't declare war on Iran, please. That's not going to help us at all. I really wish the Commune of France wasn't trying to push out in any of these provinces because it's like it's not going to work. Okay, apparently their defenses in that one province are extremely strong. Okay, you guys reinforce here. So many Germans are starting to uh, slowly flood their way over into France. Not fantastic. So we're probably going to need to... Yeah, we're definitely going to need to send somebody else. Where's that? Uh, the Green Canadian Army. It's you. Uh, of course, you're going to need to be another color. You can be like a nice red. And uh, reinforce your way. To here, please. Yeah, go, you know, a safe route. Again, uh, pretty full of enemies, pretty full of enemies. Enemy ships. There are like a small number of them. Go under a different leader, because I think you're kind of like screwing things up. Oh, no, your only job is here. So, uh, patrol? Not with the delete function. Patrol here, here, and here. There we go. So we, hopefully we can actually control some of these areas okay. Uh, what's wrong with here? Oh, the enemies decided to really flood troops into here. Unless I lost a big naval engagement, which I don't think I did. As for sis, it's set on do not. Okay. Uh, you can be. Select. Engage at low risk. We also have 31 submarines here not doing anything. Give them an admiral. And convoy escort here, here, and here. I think that's like all the, all the boats. You don't even have an admiral. I don't even know where, who, where even are you? You're in North Sea. Are you doing anything? You're on patrol. Okay. So I kind of forgot, we have been just like slowly building submarines up this entire time. Let's go assist this guy. We're probably going to be in a position, I think, where we're... We might just need to hold on. It doesn't look like... The AI has left Copenhagen though. Which is an actual issue of ours. 
so these guys should be uh, all well and defended. Okay, you're 60, you're least offending. So this entire army right now, hold position, please. You can go to where you, I think you need to go. That should be fine. Decisions available. Uh, weapons for British resistance, not fine, I think. Unless it's like plus 25%, I mean, I'll do it once. But I don't even have any guns. No, I'm missing guns, so... The British resistance can, uh... I don't, I don't care what the British resistance is. Why do you have Canadian troops over here? There's Spanish soldiers in your country! Like, what are you doing? They're all in the Rockies, too. Like, this is just, it's actually just annoying. Uh, boat. Who set for this patrol? You are. Patrol here as well. Okay, you can all engage. Naval supremacy has been researched. Anything that says me like plus 120% uh, naval attack would be really nice. Some doctrines. You know what? Two naval slots? Why not? We do a lot of battle cruisers, so probably not the worst idea in the world. We land our way into France. Britain, we we have a landing site. You don't need to try to attack Flanders. Some the. Sometimes the game is just... It, it doesn't do anything smart at all. You might want to send, like, this 13 divisions. What's the... That's 25 in total. Um, but these are actually my troops. Like, I'm kind of weary about sending my own soldiers into the battlefield. Rail right now, that's entirely French troops. So they might actually have a bonus fighting on their own soil. So we're going to draw them a front line. I'm not going to send them on it quite yet, because I don't know if we have... You know, we do have superiority once again over these regions. 60, 80, and... 78. Not too, too bad. Let's upgrade again the tanks that we're not actually building right now. Okay, we can build, again, less artillery than we are. So the brown army here... You know what? You just deploy down into France. No, 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 no. What part of avoid? Blocked. Do not go in here. Yes. Oh, I... I... That could have been extremely bad. It could have been really, really, really bad there for a moment. Yeah, go to Norway and then sail out. Because you're going to get absolutely destroyed if you do anything at all within... Um... Baltic Sea. Also, the straight crossing is blocked as, like, do not go. So I don't know why the AI thought it would be a good idea to do that. Train intercepted. Base strikes. Um, yeah, let's just get these guys going. We probably should be getting, like, a lot of these techs done a while ago, in hindsight. Yeah, don't go to the Baltic Sea. Just bomb enemy ships while they're here. The fall of Mexico City. Are the Argentinians really doing that well? I guess so. My allies are all trash. They are all not good at their jobs. And it's a shame that I have to have them on my side. If I could have anybody else, this would probably be like a much smoother operation, but... Okay, we are holding on to all of our defenses. I don't think anything's going to be happening in Britain anytime soon. We're also in a situation where now the entirety of all of these... Well, I guess, who else has uh, military access through Germany? Uh, just, just Germany. I mean, the United States has it too, but they're not even at war, so it doesn't matter. So you're on a defensive. Enemy air superiority is a pr like negative 33%. That's really, really bad. What about you guys over here? How are you guys doing? You're at, uh, again, your, your defense values are actually not that strong. Which 
which of course is not fantastic. Um, do a some reinforcements from Mexico. Even though Mexico, again, is getting like completely occupied, so I don't know what their actual plan here is. So we're holding on to everything for these two uh, sites. It would be nice. I, I would like to counterattack into them, but I also worry that something bad might happen if I do that. Because you're going to be in two of these troops during multiple combats. Will that be enough to kick them out, though? Oh, their defense values are actually really, really weak, and a lot of them are completely unorganized. And they're already falling back. They can pull it back out of this province, I think. What was for the Italian resistance? I don't care at all about the Italian resistance, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Okay, so you guys can hold on. Stop the attack for now. That might have been an ally troop doing it. And that's why they're doing terribly. Uh, so we got a Mexican cavalry uh, unit assigned to help reinforce here. The Algerian war industry. Um, how many men do you have again? You have 22 to 33 divisions. Uh, I can see that there's a handful of troops here. There's one division there, one division there. A handful as well in here as what would be really really nice I mean it's kind of like game breaking in the way that it actually works but if somehow right now if Egypt could capitulate the French Republic and then all of this territory goes back to the commune of France and all these German troops are just stuck with no supplies that would absolutely be I think the best case scenario Yeah, let's shrink our front down, uh, line a little bit. But they, again, there is a significant number of Germans here. Which is a problem. How many troops are in northern France? Uh, they have so many planes. We'll try to send some plane assistance to uh, France. All of our aircrafts can't be in Scandinavia anymore. I think we've lost a bunch of planes. By the way, only uh, normal operations. I don't want you to keep uh, flying until you're all dead. Same with all of you. Normal operations. Do we have an airport on France, French soil? No, we do not. So go to Birmingham and then fly over France. At least that's, you know, that's basically the best we can uh, hope for right now. How are we losing this battle as well? Just low organization, I guess. We're still holding out most of these fronts. 86, 87. Yeah, they're retreating, but hopefully we can uh, get them back soon. We have a nice group of commune troops uh, deciding to show up. I think they get attack and defense bonuses on core territory. I believe, at least. It'd be nice if that's the case. We still have a bunch of ships as well, just kind of trapped in the, uh, the Baltic Sea. We can't really do much with them. Are you on... What's, what's your problem? They don't have enough active patrol forces to cover. Fine, that's not a big deal. Don't worry about it right now. Enemies they just priority are out of southern Sweden. Again, I'm not even going to worry about that too, too much. We're going to take over these two provinces. If we can actually connect with our uh, French allies over here. That probably would be beneficial. They actually didn't manage to pull into the province. I'm surprised. Um... Yeah, try and attack to southern Norway again. I don't know how many times they're going to try it. Because every single time they try it, it fails. But... I feel like we've reinstated Iceland like five times so far this game. Um... 
how are you guys? You're still low supply. Let's see if we can actually push Iceland through and get these uh, Ukrainian troops doing something more useful than the nothing they are right now. Yeah, let's see if we can hold on here. We got reinforcements on their way. British convoys. Yeah, Mexico's trying to push their way through. But I'm assuming that's not really going to work. I mean, these guys have really low organization. Okay, let's try like one attack. Let me priority the channel. Okay. I do think it's going to be a good time, though, to end this episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, give a thumbs up. If you're not, do I call you something down? Right, subscribe and goodbye.